Bella Hadid just hit back at a troll on Instagram and blessings to you sweetheart is now our go-to clap back. Look, we all know that when someone is hating, it's almost always about them. And Bella doesn't have time for it, okay? The supermodel just ended another hater on Insta after they posted a lame comment about her and Kendall Jenner saying, two fake bitches sitting in a tree. First comes the nose job, then come the lips. Oh, and don't forget the built-in cheeks. Ouch, it doesn't even rhyme. Money can get you a new face, but not a nicer personality which these two girls need. But Bella totally mugged them off, taking the high road and replying, I wish you would know either of our personalities. And not only that, I wish you would only grasp a heart of your own. Blessings to you, sweetheart. Jealousy is a cry for help that I wish I could help you with. And a new meme is born. Me when I'm ghosted. Blessings to you, sweetheart. Riverdale babes Lily Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse have been spotted smooching in Paris. Ooh la la. As you no doubt know, there's been speculation that these two have been dating for a while, but until now, they decided to keep their off-screen relationship pretty much to themselves. But now the pair have been spotted doing kissy kissy during an evening stroll on a press trip to France. I mean, they're in Paris, the city of love. What else do you expect? Neither Lily or Cole have ever confirmed their relationship, and I don't think they're going to anytime soon. Just the other week at Paley Fest, Cole shut down a fan question about dating with the dreaded no comment answer. As if that wasn't enough of a shutdown, he also told People magazine, I never talk about it because it's not anyone's right to know. People can speculate all they want. People speculate about me with every member of the cast practically, but it's really no one's right to know. Okay, Cole, you definitely have a point. We have absolutely no right to snoop into your private life, but it doesn't mean we're not curious. So I'll speak. Louisa, just Louisa, who's now dropped the Johnson from her name as she's all grown up, is back with a sassy new single called Yes, and even better, she's right here to tell you all about it. Yes is a big step in my career for me, just, just in terms of like, I think the song is very different and massive compared to everything else, like the sound. The song came about, I literally went for dinner with a songwriter called Camille, who's actually a really good friend as well, and we just got really drunk. And I was like, I want to be this person now. Like, this is me. This is my time to be myself and embrace everything. I've changed a lot. I've learned a lot. And I want to show that free spirit, loving, happy, exciting, fun person. Yeah, definitely wanted to make something that wasn't kind of like the mainstream thing that everybody's going for. Because I just feel like that's not who I am as a person. I don't really like to follow what everyone else is doing. So I just always want to be that little bit different. The Kardashians have shared their first family photo. That's the Kim and Kanye crew, not the usual Kardashian crew because they're never not sharing family group shots. Have you seen their Christmas cards? But in the new family portrait, Kim looks like a serene goddess holding an angelic cherub, aka Chicago. Kanye looks very cool and very serious, as per usual, while his mini-me saint also looks very cool and very serious, albeit far more preoccupied with the mountain of 76% artisan chocolate truffles directly imported from Switzerland that are probably lurking out of shot. North, on the other hand looks like any small child forced to be enthusiastic about being herded into a corny group shot with all their arch enemies, sorry, siblings. So not very enthusiastic at all. Good attempt though, North. Kim gave us a bit more insight into the trials and tribulations involved in getting the snap. On Twitter she said, one hand holding the baby and the other hand grabbing the back of Saint's shirt because he kept running away. Lol. And in the Instagram caption of the very same pic she wrote, I don't think you can really understand how hard it is to take a good family pic. This was all we got before all three kids started crying. I think I cried too. Turns out even millions of dollars and what are probably designed in nappies can't make children behave. Has Zac Efron been flirting with actress Alexandra Daddario on Instagram? That's the question on everyone's lips. And by everyone I mean me. These lips. So, let's say they are dating. Now let's dive into Instagram to see how one of the sexiest, coolest men on the planet works his moves. Happy birthday to one of the most real, down-to-earth, stunning, intelligent, creative, loving, and most rare Pokemon ever created. Ooh, okay. A Pokemon reference, that, that's fine. I mean, just whenever I try it, it's not very effective. Also, the Earth emoji, that's a bit try-hard. Moving on, captioning this pic of Alex and her dog, he says, two hot bitches. Okay, wow, okay, pal, that's a bit uncalled for. But at least he's moved on from the Earth emoji. Let's look at one more. Hey, planet Earth. This is Maka. Never mind then. Alex comments, Angel Dog. To which Zach replies, Doggy date? That is so weird that this is all based around dogs, isn't it? Is it just me? Turns out the sexiest, coolest man on the planet might be a bit less sexy and a bit less cool than we think. 